on. Let's get into it. However you wanna do it, keep it cute or ruthless. I got stabbers that got bazooka. Shoot them up, spit them out, and I stepped on them. They say two on them, make them right, but one left gon' get them gone. Hey y'all, it's me. Back with the revelations. Cause we in revelations. So y'all wanna know why people refuse to heal? Do y'all wanna know why people would rather die than heal? Guess what? I figured it out. I got the answer. See, if they let go of the hurt, they let go of the pain, they let go of the trauma, if they let go of the disappointments, if they let go of the abuse, what else is left? Some people hold on to pain because they feel like without their stories of who did what to them, who said what to them, and that's why they act like this. Then if they let all of that go, what else is it that they can talk about? Sometimes we identify so much with the pain to that becomes our primary identity. And years of doing that will make you feel as though it's nothing else to you without your stories. It's nothing else to you without your pain. It's nothing else to you. So let me tell you how to fix that. You pour into yourself. If you can only find one thing that you really just rock with you about, like, I don't care what it is. If that's all you can find, you take that one thing and you wrap that one thing around you so tight to comfort you and let you know that, yeah, you are worth. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are loved. You are love. You are awesome. You are intellectual. You are intelligent. You are smart. You are courageous. You are resilient. You wrap them things around you so tight. So when you let go, they serve as a blanket to comfort you in your darkest hour. And you hang on to that. That way, when you release everything that you bottled up for years, you can be filled with all the good things from God. I love y'all for real. I want for you what you want for me. Peace.